back now with one of our favorites, comedian Heather McMahon, who's having a huge week. Her huge. debut Netflix comedy special is out tomorrow. <laughs> it is called Son I Never Had, and we are freaking out. <laughs> Check it out. And listen, I was watching my uh, therapist the other day on TikTok, and... <laughs> Oh yeah, my therapist is TikTok, so. <laughs> and she was saying, she was like, Heather, would you talk to your eight-year-old self the way you have been talking to your adult self? <laughs> how can, how can 20 seconds be so magnificent? Uh. 20 <laughs> seconds of your life. I can't believe it. Girl. Listen, I, every time I come here, I always want to say thank you because y'all gave me the first platform to really take this into the next stratosphere. So if it wasn't for y'all, I wouldn't Do you be remember this. when that started, by I, the way? I do. Yes. Wait, Maria Shriver fell madly in love it's with you. On Insta. And she said, how do you guys not know about Heather McMahon? We thought we were in the dark. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Sure enough, yes. then you came here on the on our show. I came here. Wait, and yeah. you talk about this in your... We've learned some details. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I. Uh, you'll learn new details about the first time I ever came on this. I had been at a wellness retreat uh, 24 <laughs> hours prior, and I took a very strong edible. And so when I showed up for my first time on the show, I was not right in the spirit. You know what I mean? Um, so, it, it, yes, you just need to tune in. I never told y'all this story, but uh, watch it on the special. And it, it, was a wild, it was a wild 24 hours for me. Can you yeah. talk about the title, which I love, Son I Never? Yes. Son I Never Had is essentially, um, my late father used to always put his hand on my neck and just be like, look at those shoulders, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, I'm built like my father. Uh, this is an introduction for people who are new to my comedy. Uh, and so I named it Son I Never Had because I tell the stories about how I lost my dad, about myself coming up through childhood, just being, there he is. Oh my God, so cute. cute. So it's a, I'm paying homage and honoring my dad, um, but it's, a, you know, it's a, it's a lot when you were the child with the broadest shoulders and had to constantly move heavy furniture. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the well, sunny never had. And you posted some pictures which Hoda and I totally related to yeah. because both Love of us it. sort of in those, the those haircuts olden that, days looked yeah. like. And I was so Hoda confident. likes to go, who is he? Yes, who is he? <laughs> I always say I was a power lesbian without the girlfriend. Like I went through a strong, strong phase and I never had the girlfriend. Look at that. You look like Macaulay look at, Culkin. Macaulay Culkin. But also look at the confidence with that sharp bang. Oh, oh. Ooh, ooh. kill him. Kill him on the court. Yeah. I mean, so embarrassing. So no, that's us. I, I can't wait ourselves. to show you a picture in the commercial break because yeah. you're going to be gonna, like, yeah, mm -hmm. you're going to be like, we would have all been friends. But back yes, then. I think what's so beautiful mm -hmm. about your comedy, we first of all are obsessed with yeah, you, you I know that. You. Yeah. But what you do is you have this really cool intersection between mm -hmm. grief and love yeah. and humor, and it's yeah. like in a world that needs humor mm -hmm. more than ever. You know, yeah, the world is on fire for sure. Yeah. And I feel like nowadays it's like if I can take people for 90 minutes at a show on the weekend to forget about what's going on and just to have a little joyful moment. Yeah. Like that's my job. And yeah. so I'm grateful that I get to do it. But I do think it's interesting what you're talking about, the intersection between grief and comedy. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know they go together, but sometimes you wonder, like, is that too much? How do yeah. you decide and, and figure out what you're going to put in there? Well, I got to be honest with you, like, and I talk about this in the special, the funniest moments of my life happened like around my dad's funeral. And I just just think yeah. the universe has an interesting way of finding balance like yeah. even in the darkest time it's the funniest moments because you're you're trying to survive and yes. figure it out and yeah. you know it's fight or flight so um i don't know i just I, listen i always speak from my point of view my yeah. perspective and if it makes me giggle i know it's gonna be yeah. relatable to somebody else <laughs> yeah. i mean this entire special is just like throw my ego out the window it is just <laughs> you know i'm i'm letting i'm letting you have it and and exposing people to all these like moments in my life so um mm. hopefully people can relate to it and, oh, yeah. and we'll giggle. You know, I mean, you've had an incredible year. Mm -hmm. You sold out Radio City. Hi. You've gone on this massive tour. Mm -hmm. Now you have a Netflix special. It's wild. Like, what do you think your mm. your dad would think? Because yeah. you really are living your dream. Yeah. Well, he would be happy because my financial advisor told me that I'm living <laughs> cheaply, apparently. So <laughs> even though I'm having success, I'm still under budget. Good, good. Um, so shout out to dad. Um, <laughs> so I think if my dad was still here, I know he'd be running security or running the merch booth at all my shows. <laughs> so it's, it's wild. I mean, I see him all the time. I always say, he visits me as a little bumblebee or a yellow jacket. Mm. And when I shot this special in Kentucky, I was really nervous. I, this was my first big special, and there were bees everywhere <gasps> outside backstage. Oh, and I was chills. like, he's, I know, I get goosebumps. He's always with me. So I think he would just be like, you did it. You know what I mean? He would write letters to my sorority and try to encourage me to like be a finance major or join the Air Force. And I was <laughs> like, no, Dad, I'm, gonna, I'm, not, doing, I'm not doing that. Again, I'm, the yeah. son I never son had. son I never had. had. Yeah. What about yeah. your mom, Robin? Yeah. Tell us, I mean, she was, she's been here almost every time you've been here. We yes. love her. She's you part had her, of your, your intern yeah. this summer. Which she was my 
intern and did a horrible job. She was fired after like day three. <laughs> um, you know, she doesn't even know how to respond to emails. There she is. Look at her. Is she dating? Uh, listen, I have said this and I'll say it again. She is, you know, out there ready to start dating. If anybody has a rich uncle with a boat, we are here. Give us a buzz. You know where to find me. With the boat. Okay, wait, before you go, yeah. because one of the things I was saying I'm obsessed with what you do is ranking your weird foods. Oh, yeah. I'm like, you, I, I'm like Heather always cracks me up. She's talking about food or Italy or some other thing. Listen, I'm a tastemaker, okay, obviously. <laughs> and I just feel like people will call into my podcast or write in and they're like, name your five favorite sandwiches or, you know. Yeah. And so I just like to give people my unsolicited Okay, yeah. so, so can we start with yeah. dips maybe? Yeah. Oh, I love dips. Okay, you know, rank your dips. Yeah. Rank your oh, dips. Oh, rank my dips. Okay, well, first of all, uh, spinach dip, okay? Yeah. I like anything. Is that number five or number one? That's number one. Oh. Anything with a, a mayonnaise or a sour cream yeah. base. Dip mm -hmm. is that's where I roll. Okay. I love a spinach dip. I love, uh, you know, a seven layer dip. Yeah. What else? I love some sort of, um, oh, well, like a pimento cheese. Yeah, yeah. It's dip. yeah, that's it. You know what I mean? Yeah, it, it's, it's a dip. A, if it's got mayonnaise in it, it's a dip. But you're yeah. not saying queso, which is making well, me think we don't. That's not but a I dip. love queso, but queso is only one thing. Yeah. Maybe it's cheese with rotel, but I. It's two things. Okay, all right, fine. <laughs> you know what? I went to the University of Mississippi, all right? <laughs> Lay off me. Um, what else? What else do we, we just like? We've got one more. What's your number one? Oh, uh, some number sort of Crab dip. Crab, crab dip. dip. Crab dip. Crab All right. <laughs> you guys check Heather's stand-up special, The Sun I Never Had. It drops tomorrow on yeah. Netflix. Oh, my gosh. I can't wait. <laughs>